Dozens of Kentucky Air National Guard members returned home after helping to battle the spread of Ebola in Africa. The group worked in a cargo processing area in Senegal that brings in supplies from around the world and then sends them to areas affected by Ebola. WKYT's Whitney Wetzel explains why these troops will not have to undergo a quarantine now that they're back home. The buildings are, most of them were not complete. The roads weren't finished. It's just, you see how fortunate you are living in the United States when you go over there. Roughly a month ago, about 50 Kentucky Air National Guard members flew to Africa to help battle the spread of Ebola. This morning, they returned to Louisville to their friends and family. I think he just really wanted to serve his country, and I think it was one of the best moves that he ever made. I really think um, it really help develop who he is now. I totally understand how mothers feel when their sons go off now, our daughters. Totally understand. Concerns about Ebola returning to the U.S. were calmed during a town hall meeting last Friday to help the families of these returning troops understand the risks. You know, no concerns about them needing to be quarantined or anything. So they did a good job on communicating to us, and they had doctors and infectious disease doctors there, and they explained everything to us. The Air National Guard says these airmen were stationed about 800 miles away from Liberia, which is the closest spot that's been affected by Ebola. These members will not have to go through a 21 day quarantine, but they are being monitored for symptoms as a precaution. Airmen who are part of this response group are proud of their work. After going there, I, it's an experience I wouldn't trade for anything else because you learn so much while you're over there, you get to see so much. and. How many people can say they have been to Africa and done what I've done? In Louisville, Whitney Watzel, WKYT. Members of the Kentucky National Guard have helped out with other humanitarian missions in the past, like the Haiti earthquake in 2010.